Number three. Ladies and gentlemen, honorable guests, it is great respect for me to be here. Few words I would like to say from my heart. I have not written. When we heard the news of the death of Her Majesty's Queen, the very next prayer, when I was living in the mosque, I could see the sorrow and the grief in the eyes of my congregation. On behalf of thousands of Muslims in Surrey and in the country, being the head imam of Shah Jahan Mosque, working in Surrey, the first purpose-built mosque of UK, and the vice chairman of Surrey Muslim Association, I present my deepest condolences and thoughts are with the royal family and people of UK. Queen Elizabeth was a remarkable lady. She was noble and handled all situations with grace. We will remember her for devoting her life to public service and her faith in God. We pray that our nation will benefit from the strength and understanding of King Charles III. He has a long-standing commitment to his faith, protecting the interests of all faiths and beliefs, and building more connected communities. We pray the everlasting Lord, the God of Almighty, the Most High, the Most Merciful, helps us to follow the shining example of our great queen to serve people with full dedication. The most kind Lord guide our King Charles III with vegan wisdom and strength as he assumed the momentous responsibility of distinct leadership in our country and the Commonwealth. The most gracious Lord help us to embrace diversity, serve others with dignity and humility and remain compassionate towards one and another. Again, few words I will say from my heart and naturally I was listening to the very first address of King Charles III. He said, wherever you live, whoever you are, whatever your background and belief is, I will serve you, I respect you, and I love you. Thank you. God save the King. My name is the Reverend Lucy Briley. I'm the Minister of the United Reformed Church here in Woking. As we stand here together, gathered as a community, we look around at our fellow citizens of our borough. We know that we are marking a significant moment in history, and it's good that we are able to gather and be together. This is an occasion that we will speak to of our children, to our children and to our grandchildren. It is the end of an era, and it's the beginning of a new era. I'm here today on behalf of Churches Together in Woking, which I am the moderator. And it's my duty and my honour to declare our prayerful support for His Majesty King Charles III at the dawning of this new era in the life of our nation. We know how important his late mother, Queen Elizabeth's faith, was to her, and the deep calling that she felt of God upon her life as she reigned as monarch and served tirelessly with compassion, dignity, and love. We know that King Charles will likewise see faith in local communities as an important part of our nation's life. Here in Woking, our town is home to many vibrant churches and faith communities. And it's our desire to work together to promote the well-being and harmony of our communal life, as represented by our gathering here today. 
but as moderator of the churches together here in Wakefield, I speak on behalf of all Christians in our community in offering our condolences to the royal family and our prayers for them, and especially His Majesty King Charles as he begins his reign. We pray that his influence may be as his mother's was, a unifying one, which promotes the dignity and well-being of all Hi. peoples, both at home and abroad. May God bless the King, all members of the royal family, and indeed all of us gathered here today, that we might use our own influence for good. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel, Sanjay.